Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Parag Jambulkar. In last video, we have seen basic terms in Salesforce. In this video, we will see how to create developer account or developer org in Salesforce. And this account is completely free. We can use this account for our practice. We can create our app, we can create tabs, we can import data, we can export data, we can write Apex code and also we can run our programs. So let's get started. So on Google, we'll search developer Salesforce sign up. So here we got this link. We'll open it. Or directly you can go to this link developer.salesforce.com forward slash sign up. Now see, here we'll get one form. We have to fill this form. And then we have to click on sign me up. Now see, we'll go one by one. So our first name, my first name Parag, last name Zambulkar, email address, I will enter. So job role, so I will, I'm choosing developer, company name, so any company name. So if you are working for any company, so that company name here you can mention. Here I am mentioning Comreo, country, India, postal code, so I will enter. Then this is important. So see how to enter username. See this username it is written here your username must be in the form of an email address so normally how we have email address something at gmail.com something like this right so here we'll mention so see admin at suppose i am writing something like this jamie jackson.com so any any name you can give but it should be in the form of email id so here i am mentioning admin at jamiejackson.com okay so likewise you can mention or you can mention something like this uh, test at something.com test at parag.com uh, test account at paragzambulka.com something like this right it should be in the form of email then we have to click on sign me up so i have filled this form now i am clicking on sign me up so see here what i entered first name last name email id then role i have chosen developer company name so your company name here you have to mention country i have mentioned postal code that you have to mention and username in the form of email id that you have to mention here now see i am clicking on sign in sign me up so see here we got message almost there please check your email to confirm your account so what we'll do we'll check our email So here we got this email from developer at Salesforce. See, we'll click here. Here it is. Subject line is welcome to Salesforce. Verify your account. Now see, we'll click on verify account. Okay. So it is asking for the password. Some password we will enter. So it is written. It should be, there should be eight characters, one letter and one number. So minimum requirement we have to satisfy. Okay, so everything is done. So we have successfully created our first account on Salesforce. It is a developer account. Now see what we will do. We will log out and we will see how to log in. So log out. Now see. So I am closing everything. So see. I am closing this. Now see to get login into your developer account. What we have to do. We have to type URL login dot salesforce dot if you are not getting this, so you can search this on Google. So you will get first link. So that link also you can use. See, this link you can use. 
login.salesforce.com now see what are the username that we have given so that we'll use admin at jamie jackson dot com so what are the ad, uh, username that i have given so that i have mentioned here password okay now click on login this window i got to register my mobile number but i don't want to do it now so i'll click on remind me later great so in this way we can log in to our salesforce developer account so in this video we have seen how to create developer account in salesforce and also we have seen how to log in into salesforce developer account so to create developer account in salesforce we have to use this link developer.salesforce.com forward slash sign up and to log in into our developer account we have to use login.salesforce.com so in this way we can create developer account in salesforce and also we can log in so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you